Hello and welcome back to Unity of Command and this time you're about to attack Stalingrad and this obviously I think is the core mission of this uh, campaign. So let's take a look at the briefing. Stalingrad, nearly overlooked in the original campaign plans, turns into a focal point owing to the powerful symbolism of its name. Under Hitler's orders to take the city at any cost, German troops have no choice but to give it their best in an epic battle that may prove to be the turning point in the entire war. Yeah, and this, again, I think is an interesting scenario that offers a lot of options. Unfortunately, um, I couldn't make most of them work, but you might want to experiment with them. So I will talk a little bit about my thoughts and attempts here. We have to finish things at turn eight. And if you notice here, the direct way it goes, goes along this road and straight into the city. There is no river blocking your way here. So this is a obvious line of attack. And honestly, it's the best line of attack. If you take a look at our supply sources, none is linked up to a road. So this is painful and this makes, well, the scenario interesting. Another interesting point about this mission is that your tanks are very weak. The strongest one is five strength points. So I try to disband one of my tanks and reinforce the others because well, six or seven strength tanks, obviously a lot more effective and you can overrun a lot of things. And I think that would be the better appro approach in theory. But problem is you can't do it when your tanks are out of supply. You can't reinforce them when they are not in supply range. And if too many strength points are suppressed, you can't resupply fully so that's painful and most of the time it doesn't work out another interesting feature is this bridge here and initially i thought fighting for this bridge would be ideal because it opens up a direct line supplies if you supply this source here supplies the chunk of your main forces here and you can basically use the troops here in the south as a diversion but that doesn't work either well one moment because there's swamp here and that totally blocks um the flow of supply here yeah that leaves this bridge but yeah it's possible but very hard to fight along here in the center so well, i couldn't make that work either but you might want to experiment with it. Well, other strategies, you can use um, decoys. So for example, withdrawing the thousand force beyond the river um, leads the Russians to divert all the forces to the north and attach to the units in the north if you push forward um, at the same time. And then you could push in here but once again, you can't supply both forces, so you have to concentrate on one supply source basically. And they're very quick in shuffling down backwards. That's interesting. Maybe with some optimizations, you might be able to, to make it work, but I couldn't do it. So let's focus on the strategy I found is best. And I think let's immediately go for it. Key is to bring all your units to the south and, well, no finesse, just one major blow into the city from this angle and we will bring most of our forces downwards. Don't care about all the northern parts, you really don't need them, those supply sources are not really effective. Uh, we will keep units here just to, to distract the Russians, but yeah, our main thrust will be from the south. And you will notice here is a tank with a KV-1 attached. This one has to die. It's elite as well. 
So let's hope we can do some damage to it. That worked out pretty nicely. Perfect. We'll go forward, kill it off, even try to damage another unit here a little bit and then we could be bold. Ah, that's, I don't think that's worth it because, well, we have to secure our supply line here and that's the furthest we can go. Let's reinforce the thousand supply. And well, let's see. I think we will shuffle our tank this way. Don't want to attack here, but the reason the reason is now my tank is in supply. And we can't supply all of our units, that's simply not possible. Then we'll send a Romanian unit to capture the Russian supply down here. It will take some time, but we can do it and keep ourselves protected in the south. Damn, because I tend to forget it across the river up here. Um, we can threaten the whole range of supply sources here in the north, but it's not about cutting the Russian supplies. That's just, well, distracting them. <laughs> you can't, you can't do anything serious to them because, well, Stalingrad itself pretty much is supplied. You can sneak grab it, but I don't think that should be your main focus of the strategy. Then we will collapse this pocket. Well, that went extremely poorly. Now it's cornered. Now that one is cornered as well. Couldn't take it. But now it's done. We'll open a room here because we want to park a tank here in order to cross the river. Crossing, I don't know what's the name, the Don, I think, or the Karpuka, Karpovka, I think, it's it's very hard to read. Yeah, it's imperative to cross here with your tanks on the first turn. Then we somehow still have to get rid of those units, but I don't want them to withdraw, so... Let's keep attacking. And I think it will be very hard to actually really get them. Because they are kind of lucky. Let's block the river. And then I think what we will do, we want to get rid of most of the tanks. The 80% overround chance is nice. And I think we are going for it just to get rid of them. Got the overrun, that's nice. Ah, gosh. <laughs> Should have blocked the hex again. Got the overrun and we destroyed the tank. Tank, that's good. Try to damage more tanks. And then we will try to weaken another one of their tanks. Unfortunately, we don't have any units left that can attack. So now it's about supply. Let's get the tank across. Let's get another tank in supply. Um, let's keep 
the motorized here um, just to be maybe able to cross with all three units that would be huge but I do want to move back uh, this motorized just to get it into supply and then I very much would like to put a unit here to the front but that doesn't seem to be possible but still keep him supplied we might be able to um, draw them inwards and here if they go over the river it's much easier to destroy them go across as well and you no I think we want to keep him in supply so that's it this unit won't be supplied so let's supply it and I think yeah the only unit out of supply will be this motorized but I think we can live with that so let's end the turn and see what the Soviets can do yeah they did go across they are trying to block the Romanians. But it's a good thing they are moving all their units. Because that de-entrenches them. So, well, we will try to break through here. Often it's not possible, but getting the supply source is nice because then they are forced to withdraw, but it's not uh, really imperative. Then we'll cross with our tanks, try to destroy whatever we can. already attack whatever we can and there's no target we can hit but we still can cross I don't like to go here well this one can't do it well, let's take a look no that's not worth it let's go here and now we are offering a huge threat to the Russians and they will respond by moving back some units. So hopefully the Romanians still can go through. Then I think next we will try to get rid of enemy units and take a look at this infantry unit. It has a huge bonus to attack because of the T-34. So we want to get rid of it, that's imperative. The units um, with the artillery attached are not that dangerous because they have no attack bonus and only defensive bonus. So not worried about them. The T-34 is the unit that has to go. And that's done. Gas will move forward, try to get some overruns and try to get rid of the units with the special steps attached to it. And maybe we are able to already block the supply and form a huge um, a huge pocket here but I'm not sure if we have enough units to actually defend here that's the only problem let's see it might be too bold and I think the supply will already be blocked so 
might be worth to get rid of the tank. Because they might very well break through here. If we extend too much. But what I will do here is shuffle those units around just to keep my motorized in supply. But I won't attack here because I don't want to weaken my units. Go across and this way we can perfectly defend because the Romanians absolutely can hold the river. That's not an issue. And those have moved. We'll still go across the bridge because then we can get across next turn. Already more or less destroyed another unit with artillery attached. And yeah, forcing it back is obviously a great thing. Well, let's see. That was unlucky, but doesn't matter too much. We just want to break its zone of control so that we can move in and out here. are able to break them next turn. Once again, block the bridge. Move back a little bit because I don't want to get attacked across the bridge. Um, block the bridge and disband one of the units because, yeah, I really want to strengthen my motorized units. Unfortunately, none of them, well, this one is in supply. So it's key to keep units in supply here. This one will be out of supply next turn, so we will supply him. And yeah, it's a little bit tricky shuffling around the units, keeping them in supply, but we are presenting a huge threat here in the north, blocking them, presenting a full attack line here. So I hope they will withdraw all their units to the north. This opens a line of attack towards Stalingrad here, and that's what we want. But that's not guaranteed. Yeah, and I like if they try to take the bridge, and see they're out of supply that's nice so next time next turn we can completely encircle them with romanian units because they won't be able to attack anymore that's huge ah. first breakthrough attempt didn't work but i think we can still get them And it's very nice if we can destroy the units that they are trying to reinforce here. We'll see about that. So now, well, couldn't get him, but it doesn't matter because now we have the supply and they will have to retreat. Let's not forget to increase the supply range. reinforce and then it's time to well basically collapse the front The problem is 
well, they are blocking our tanks, so we more or less have to smash them anyways. Would like to do it in another way, but I don't think it's really possible. Let's try to get him back into the pocket, connect. And well, don't care about the units inside the pocket too much, but freeing up the tanks, I think, is imperative. And that way the tank will be in supply. And now we have to make sure to hold the line here. That's not exactly easy got rid of the Katusha unit again and I think we should be able to hold here but just to make sure we'll advance And weaken another of those um, artillery units because it can't fully resupply and it will make it yeah a lot more difficult for them to actually breach me and just for safety reasons building a second layer of protection here they can't break out so not too worried here shuffling down the tank to keep him supplied and then I think it's time to go for more of those artillery backed units just checking if I can supply anything nope I can't deploying my reinforcements back to a supplied spot blocking the bridge once again move back and move forward to well annoy them a little bit I guess blocking the bridge does not really help us because it's not in supply for us so I think it's better to get the unit down it's not in supply here as well but it will be soon so, still yeah, we'll delete him 
he's of no use for us. We have to supply this motorized, so otherwise it won't be able to attack next turn. And the Romanians unfortunately are out of supplies, they're very slow, can't do anything about it. And then we'll keep reinforcing infantry units. So I think that's it. Let's end the turn. Now they have serious problems. Can't attack anymore. And like predicted they are withdrawing. We have to go for this tank. And it's turn four and now we have a little bit of problem with the weather here. That's very unfortunate because now my tanks are not resupplied. But I hope this will cause problems for them as well. But basically we are losing a turn now because we can't attack. And that's bad. Move back, destroy what we can, and we might be able to use the bad weather um, to present a threat to them. But basically that's not ideal in any way. Yeah, we have to try to get their units out of the way and we can't supply all of them. That's another problem. So what we'll do, collapse the pocket. as good as we can. Well, we can't really do much about it, but try to get supplied. Try to weaken those. our supply range and we still can drop supplies we'll definitely do that and yeah I can't do much to them but it will have to do at least it force them back it won't in supply here anyway so let's present present a huge threat to them block them and maybe couldn't damage this one enough but never mind the problem now is we can't reinforce anything because we are totally out of supply everywhere um, maybe him 
But other than that, I think we won't do anything. Let's end the turn again and hope the bad weather doesn't stay. At least it will hurt their supplies somewhat. But it's far from ideal. So... Try to threaten them in the back. Hope that took the supply perfect. Couldn't get it. No. But this will seriously threaten them. Increase the supply range and then. Well. Let's try to fight our way through. And the good thing about collapsing those pockets is you will get a lot of elite units. And well, now is the turn. We very much want to already weaken or hurt them a lot. So let's see. That's good. And we have to clear away. Because, yeah. We have to attack the city in the next few turns. And we definitely want as many units capable of reaching the city as somehow possible. So we will try to weaken them. Make sure nothing bad happens. Let's take a look at the supply situation. I want to have as many units in supply as somehow possible. And I want them distracted, so... Will cause havoc, hopefully. Still block the bridge. Get him in supply. And here we are going, well, basically just hold. And now I hope. could supply at least some units. Then let's end the turn again. Well, they can try to get across here as long as they want. If they're using up the strengths, it's fine for me. Distracting here is what, well, suiciding their units into me is, is what I want here. 
Because it will... It will delay them. And that's not the units I want to have for the attack. And now it's getting difficult, so by all means we want to go in this turn. Um Minions having their revenge. Linking up here just because we can. And... Well... Then we have to find a way to go in here. Hopefully the Air Force can do their job. Well, that's looking very promising. That's done. And we have to disband some units here. There's no way around it. So we are blocking ourselves. And that's it. Starting crowd on turn six. I think there are people that did it faster. I read someone did it in two turns, I have no idea, didn't look for the video how that is done. But this is a very stable and safe way to do it, even with um, a bad weather effect that really caught us at the bad spot. It was no problem taking it on turn 6 and it's very, it's a good idea to do it on turn 6 because, well, the supplies of the Russians uh, start to, to increase and to really get annoying with all the artillery here. And yeah, at one point, well, let's view the history here. At one point, they actually started to suicide into one of my units. I had one part of Stalingrad and they attacked, deleted, dele attack, deleted. And this way I wiped the entire map. <laughs> that was fun, but yeah, like I said, it's key get as many of your strong units across the river as fast as you can and then just smash into them. Um, don't put your tanks to the front, put infantry units to the front to, to absorb the suicide attacks and then use your strong units to go in. That's basically the way to do it. Hope you enjoyed it and well, See you next time when we go for Tarek. So, thanks for watching. Bye.